Aromatic aldates, ketones and kinones, properties of benzaldehyde. Uh, leave a few drops of benzaldehyde on a watch glass exposed to the air for a few days during a pinch of starch with a few cubic centimeters of cold water and pour the mixer into about 15 centimeters of boiling water. Cool and dissolve in the solution of a crystal. Um, a crystal of potassium iodine and uh, divide the solution into two portions. Shake uh, one of these uh, with uh, two drops of benzaldehyde and expose both to sunlight for some time and explain uh, the results. Uh, as far as uh, the cesspore, uh, the haldate group in group C in benzaldehyde, shake up a few drops of benzaldehyde uh, with about uh, 10, um, 15 uh, centers of water and test parts of the solution with the filling solution. Tolerance reagents and shifts reagent compare the result with those obtained with acetaldehyde. For the test with the phenyl hydrazine, see experiment 192, D page 163. If this experiment has not been performed, do it now. Benzaldehyde and sodium hydrogen sulfite. Uh, shake about 1 centimeter of benzaldehyde with a 5 centimeters of saturated solution of sodium hydrogen sulfite. Filter off the crystals by section and wash them with a little alcohol until uh, other less. Um, uh, dissolve the crystals in warm water to one half of the solution, add the solution of sodium carbonate, and uh, to the other dilute sulfuric acid. Explain the cause of the appearance and other produced. Uh, and for as uh, in for uh, as far as uh, hydro uh, sodium hydroxide and benzaldehyde are concerned, shake up a few drops of benzaldehyde with a solution of sodium hydroxide and then warm the mixer uh, is a resin formed and compare the result with those obtained in the case of acetaldehyde. For the behavior of benzaldehyde with the alkalis experiment 193, uh, benzaldehyde and ammonia, hydrobenzamide mixed together 3 centers of benzaldehyde, 20 centers of alcohol, and 10 centers of a concentrated solution of ammonia. Set aside the mixture until the product with the separates become uh, solid. Heat on the steam bath and um, add alcohol until the solid dissolves. Set aside to crystallize, determine the melting point of the crystals, compare the behavior of formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, and benzaldehyde with ammonia, hydrobenzamide. Crystals form uh, alcohol in uh, octahedra with melt at 110 degrees, repression of benzophenone in a dry. 500 synthetic flask put 28 grams of benzene, 30 grams of anhydrosalmine chloride in the form of lamp, and 27 grams of benzoyl chloride. The aluminum chloride should not be exposed to the hair any longer than necessary as it rapidly absorbs moisture attached to the flask by means of a cork, a small dry tube containing anhydrosalmine chloride. Place the flask under a hood in a beaker containing water and let the reaction proceed for at least 24 hours to determine whether the reaction is complete for a few drops of the material into a few cubic centimeters of water in a test tube. Shake the tube and observe whether the characteristic odor of benzoyl chloride is present. If the chloride is present, the mixture should stand for several hours and then be uh, tested again when benzoyl chloride can no longer be recognized by its odor. Pour into the flask rapidly a mixture of 200 centers of water, 100 grams of shaved high source snow, and 15 centers of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Shake under running water until two layers are formed. Add uh, 15 centers of benzene and separate the solution from the acid, shake the formula with a solution of sodium hydroxide to remove any benzoic acid that may be present. Write the solution with calcium chloride and filter it into the distilling flask provided with a thermometer. Distill using water condenser until the temperature of the paper reaches 215 degrees. Place, replace the water condenser by an air condenser and collect in a weighted 200 uh, synthesis back of the material bone in between 218 
uh, degrees and uh, 305 degrees record uh, the weight uh, of the slate which should change to a mass of crystals dissolved in warm alcohol 5 centimeters of each gram of benzophenone and add to the cooled solution cold water until a permanent cloud uh, is formed the volume of the water used should be about one third that of the alcohol. After standing overnight, filter off the crystals and uh, add water to the filtrator as before. Weighted two crops of crystals, uh, calculate the yield, and determine the melting point of the crystals, benzophenone melts at 28 degrees and boils at 306.1 degrees, corrected. Uh, the yield in the preparation is about 25 grams, preparation of benzophenone. Oxime. In a flask provided uh, with a reflux condensed dissolved 5 grams of benzophenone in a, a 5 tin centimeters of alcohol and another solution of 5 grams of hydroxyamine hydrochloride in 15 centimeters of water. To this, add a solution of 10 grams of sodium hydroxide in 15 centimeters of water and heat the mixture on a water bath for an hour. Put the product in about 200 centimeters of water if necessary and add to the filtrate dilute sulfuric acid until the solution is just acidic to litmus paper after an hour filter of the benzo and nanoxium and uh, wait the protocol when uh, dry um, calculate the present yield which should be nearly uh, theoretical theoretical um, Reticle, sorry, uh, crystallize the oxime benzo uh, in ox uh, benzo and uh, melt at 141 degrees. Beckman's rearrangement of an oxime in a small flask of 2 grams of benzophenoxime in 13 centimeters of ether dried over sodium and add slowly in small portions uh, 3 grams of finely divided phosphor benzochloride. Uh, at first, it may be necessary to cool the solution. Toward the end of the reaction, the mixture should uh, be heated on the steam bath until the phosphorus point of the has dissolved. When this has taken place, uh, put your head for a solution with vigorous stirring into 400 centimeters of cold water. Stir until the solid has formed and then filter it off by suction uh, and wash with cold water. Crystallize the benzene, um, benzenolate from the smallest amount of boiling alcohol and determine the melting point of the dried crystal. Write equations. Uh, for the action involved in the uh, rearrangement, uh, benzene light melts at 116 degrees. Preparation of quinone. The procedure is that you mix a large beaker 215 centimeters of water, 15 centimeters of pure concentrated sulfuric acid, and 15 grams of sodium bicromate or the equivalent weight of potassium bicromate. Uh, when the salt is dissolved, set the beaker in cold water and cool sodium to 20 degrees, and mix in a beaker 115 centimeters of water and 10 grams of aniline, put into the mixture with stirring. Uh, Seven um, ten centimeters of pure concentrated sulfuric acid. Cut the solution to 20 degrees and uh, add it still vigorously uh, in four version to the solution of sodium bicromate. The, be the beaker in which the reaction takes place should be surrounded by cold water and the temperature should be kept between uh, 35 uh, degree and 14 degree. About 6 to 8 minutes are required for addition of the solution of aniline sulfate. When this has been accomplished, remove the beaker from the water and let it stand for about 15 minutes. Transfer the product to a large flask and cool it in running water to about 15 degrees. Add to the flask. Sorry. Add to the flask uh, 3 100 centimeters of hydro and shake. Let the flask stand for a few minutes in order to facilitate the separation of the ether into a distant layer. 
add to it 25 centimeters of stone and give it to the flask a center rotary motion. In a few minutes, they can off carefully as much of the header as possible into a separatory funnel. If some of the aqueous layer flows in, into the funnel, it can be separated. Draw off the header solution, place it in a flask and distill the header off from a water bath throughout uh, a long water uh, jacket condenser. Uh, extract the solution of quinone once more with the recovered heather and evaporate it off as before. Crystallize the residue of quinone from the smallest possible amount of boiling liquid or distill it with steam in the ordinary way except that no water is put into the flask containing the quinone. Dry the uh, crystals of uh, quinone in a desiccator, uh, the compound is volatile at room temperature and uh, if left exposed to the air for a number of hours, uh, an appreciable quality uh, is, uh, is lost. Quinone nuts uh, at uh, 116 degrees, centigrade degrees, the yield uh, in this preparation is uh, um, 5 or 6 uh, grams. Properties of quinone are, uh, for example, reduction, uh, re the reductionability of the quinone. Uh, to test it, you shake uh, up a crystal of a quinone with 10 centimeters of water, no the other and color of the solution, add to one half of its solution of sodium and uh, hydrogen sulfide, to the other half add a dilute solution of potassium iodide and a few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid. Uh, you insert a uh, solution of quinone, dissolve a few crystals of quinone in 5 centimeters of carbon tetrachloride and add drop by drop a solution of bromine in carbon tetrachloride. Formation of a uh, quinhedron, make a straight solution of quinone in water and add to the solution drop by drop a strong aqueous solution of hydroquinone. Examine the tube after about 1 minute. If crystal level not formed, repeat using a more. Um, Preparation of uh, anthraquinone in a 215 cm round bottom of the flask provided with a prep condenser place, 5 grams of anthracene and 15 cm of glycerol acetic acid. If the liquid to boiling of our wire goes and add drop by drop from a separate funnel place in the upper end of the condenser solution made by dissolving 10 grams of chromic acid and drip in 10 cm of water and then adding 25 cm of a glacial acetic acid boil the solution for 10 minutes after the oxidizing agent has been added and then allow the mixture to cool spontaneously to the temperature of the room. When it cool under running water, fill it by section and wash the crystal twice with a mixture of two volumes of water and one volume of glacial acetic acid using 20 centers of the mixture each time. Finally wash twice with water and allow the crystals to dry in the air. So blame a small amount of of the dried anthraquinone and crystallize it from boiling alcohol. Anthraquinone sublimes at about 215 degrees in yellow needles, which melt at 273 degrees. Uh, the yield in this preparation is 5 grams. Boil together for about half a minute. A trace of powder anthraquinone with a little zinc dust and 10 centimeters of a solution of sodium hydroxide. Filter the solution and shake it with hair. Anthraquinone is partly reduced by zinc and sodium hydroxide to a red salt uh, of the composition. The salt is oxidized by hair to anthraquinone. The reaction is available one in the identification of this substance. Compare the properties of anthraquinone with those of benzoquinone. Thus, the former oxidizing uh, an acidif acidified solution of potassium iodine. Is, uh, it is reduced by sulfose acid. Note that after oxidation by chromic acid in acidic acid solution, the product is used to precipitate by pouring the solution into water. In the case of anthraquinone, it is convenient to allow the mixer to cool as uh, the compound crystallizes well from glacial acetic acid. Aromatic, uh, no, it's another doctor. Sorry, it's the rain.